compute the log of the square root of 3 plus i. Let's go ahead and work it out. So in this problem, the log function is the multi-valued function. It's the complex logarithm. And this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of the modulus plus i times the argument of z. And so here, by the argument of z, we mean theta plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. And theta is a specific value of arg z. It's the angle that lives in the interval negative pi to pi. And this will be our principal branch. So this is called the principal principal branch. So the first thing we should do in this video is find the modulus and argument of our complex number. So we can write the square root of 3 plus i as r cosine theta plus i sine theta. And in this case, we can simply find r by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the real and imaginary parts. So if we square the real part and we square the imaginary part, we end up with 3 plus 1, which is 4. So we get 2. So this is equal to 2 parentheses cosine theta plus i sine theta. Dividing everything by 2, we end up with the square root of 3 over 2 plus 1 half i equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. Now, two complex numbers are equal if and only if their real and imaginary parts are equal. So this means that the cosine of theta is equal to the square root of 3 over 2, and the sine of theta is equal to 1 half. Both of these equations hold simultaneously when theta is equal to pi over 6. And that's certainly a value of theta that lives inside this interval. Okay, so now we're ready to actually finally write the answer down. So let's go ahead and do that. So the log of the square root of 3 plus i, this is the natural log of the modulus. And we said the modulus was 2. So 2 plus i parentheses and then arg z. Well, here's arg z and theta is pi over 6. So all you do is plug in the pi over 6 and then you add the 2k pi. And in all of this, k is an integer. And that is the final answer. So I hope that made sense.